Hello and welcome to another audio analysis. In today's video we're taking a look at the track Psycho In My Head by the American Christian rock band Skillet. This is the fifth single from their 2022 album Dominion and they are certainly a band that whilst never really ever releasing any critically acclaimed albums, they certainly do have a lot of quality to almost every album they produce. It's very rare for the band to drop the ball even after having such a long tenure being together since 1996. For a band that is now 11 albums deep, it's great to see that they're really just maintaining this consistency with a lot of their music, really maintaining the power behind a lot of their music. I mean, you look at some of their really big albums from the mid-2000s, Comatose, Rise, those albums that really gave them that very strong following and really established their foundation within the Christian rock scene, and they've really just kept running with that ever since. So will this be a track that gets stuck in your head or leave you feeling a little bit psycho? Let's take a look at exactly how it sounds. Maybe I'm just paranoid. I love how we open with this really interesting, almost twisted guitar. It has that effect that you see in mainly in horror films. It has that same sound, that scratchiness, that edginess to it mixed in with these electronic sounds that do the same as well. So really straight away shows that idea of psychotic, that idea of twisted. And it's something that we, because it's so ingrained in our brains to associate that sound with something almost quite horrific, it really plays off very well at the opening of the track. And straight away, you already know from the title what this track is about. That's something Skillet have always done they've made their song super accessible and really easy to understand this one being about the idea of being in your own head living in your own head and letting you get in the way of yourself maybe i'm just paranoid maybe i'm just living like so it's this idea of realizing that it's there can't stop the screen voice or maybe i'm just so this idea of not really being sure whether it's the case of you're ill or whether it's just you kind of making it making things up that almost placebo effect in your head so it's quite interesting to see how it mixes in a variety of different things it can look at mental health which is the main focus, but it also touches on these other ideas already just off the start of this questioning attitude of I'm not 100% sure what's wrong with me. This is the face I hate, the other side of me, out of this cage he breaks to take the life from me. Tell me, tell me, tell me I'm not crazy. There's a psycho in my head. And I love how with the chorus it goes to this much more melodic feeling sound, really plays up in the chorus. And I like how everything's done from the personal perspective from John Cooper. It really shows this this element. It's almost like he's understanding and relaying that to the audience, to the listener. The idea it's not there's a psycho in your head. It's not kind of trying to put it onto somebody. It's kind of that it's in my head. So it could be from personal experience. He's had to fight with some demons, and it's a case of now he's kind of showing that inclusivity. That you're not alone in going through that. There are other people in the world that have gone through so I like that it's in that perspective it just adds that that engaging element to the actual track itself this idea about being closer to the edge kind of you're getting to that, part, that breaking point almost kind of living in misery it's kind of becoming harder to live because of this psycho in your head this voices in your brain that are really just starting to feel like they're going to bring you the, to the end Believe I need to see the light in me Tell me, tell me, tell me I'm 
And I like one thing they did actually in that part of the track where you actually had this dripping sound that was thrown in just at the back of the track. And it's quite, it's, again, it's something that's used to kind of build suspense. The idea of this dripping tap or this kind of watery tunnel almost. It kind of fits in with the visuals a little bit, almost adding to that fear that there's something lurking in the shadows, this just constant dripping sound. So it's very subtle, but I like they use that. They're just kind of, whilst it's a steady rock track, you've also got these quick dotted little bits and pieces that are thrown in the back of the mix that really just add a little extra something to it. Just They didn't need to throw them in, but they just add that little extra effect to, the, to really kind of convey this idea and really tie in a lot of these different elements that you associate with different things to do with monsters and things like that. There's a psycho in my head. I love that, just really just dropping everything away and really just having John Cooper with the soul vocals, putting that very light, almost distortion, staticky effect onto his voice to almost sound like that disassociation from yourself, almost like you've got this whispering in your ear, this devil on your shoulder, kind of really trying to taunt you and tempt you. So I like the way they do that, just to switch it up a little bit, just to really show that effect a bit easy. If you still had the elements, the other elements like the, back, the guitars in the background very heavily blaring out, it sort of wouldn't work. It's this idea of just, you're kind of, you can hear that voice in your head almost so i really do like that it's a common effect that we do see for tracks that really meld their story or certainly the lyrics around mental health mental illness or certainly have this idea of voices in your head so just this very simple effect that works really well in conveying the message <laughs> I really like how actually it's just a very simple rock track. There's not too much crazy things going on in the background in terms of the actual guitars and the drums. Jen really just providing that solid beat in the background to really add to it. And I like it's these, these extra little effects they throw in, this almost twisted guitar sound, these water droplet sounds almost really emphasize that idea of maybe a monster lurking in a tunnel. And they use these little things just to really add extra spits and pieces to the song. And it's also very easy in it to access this idea of a cycle in your head this personalization of the track there's lots of great elements and it's not a song that massively stands out but it's very catchy it's easy to kind of headbang to it as those occasional kind of breakdowns where it's sort of a bit more almost thrashy at times so I like that they kind of mix things up throughout the course of the track and really just release another track that really does have strong meaning to it as most of their music does they do love to convey a lot of messages in the music they release and it's just a very solid rock track it's one of those that has that catch to it where you want to listen to it over and over again even though it's a song about kind of fighting those demons in your head but it doesn't tell you kind of what to do it's just kind of more of an acceptance song accepting that there's something in there knowing that there's something there and being aware of it not trying too much to fight it, it doesn't really f focus on that just focus on the idea of kind of that acceptance and that reality that you can kind of get in your own way or you can fight your own brain at times in certain situations and it really is one of those songs that has that strong live feel to it but they've been playing it on their recent UK tour, really just jamming it in the middle of their set and it really is one of those songs that just allows the audience to really get involved and really kind of headbang to and really just kind of jump around to. When they played it in Manchester it was a case of the audience went absolutely crazy and it was just great to see. 
So that will be everything for today's video. But as always, please feel free to let me know your thoughts about this particular track in the comments section below. Do you feel it lives up to the same strength as some of the earlier skillet work that they did from the mid 2000s? Do you prefer this more modern sound they've got to their music and still think they're just as relevant today as they were at the beginning of their career? I would love to know your thoughts. And as always, if you want to see more content like this, then please do feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next Dojo Analysis.